I can really feel I haven't done this for like a couple of weeks. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. Today I have a special guest here with me. Hello, um, my name is Kari. Uh, Kari and I know each other from a meditation retreat that maybe some of you know. It's the... Uh, uh, oh my gosh, now I forgot the name. <laughs> the Vipassana. Uh, the Vipassana retreat. <laughs> and we met there about nearly two months ago now mm. and today we are going to talk about self-connection and how you can strengthen your self-connection and we've both written down some notes but we haven't discussed the notes so I don't know if we have written down the same or not um, mm -hmm. and we'll we'll see okay so I'm going to start my first point that I've written down is um, if you're stuck and you don't know the answer to, to a problem or to an issue, you can actually write down the question on a piece of paper and you can write a letter to yourself. Have you done that before? Mm, write a letter to yourself. Yeah. Um, I have, but I don't think in the same context. Okay. It was more like um, writing to my future self. Yeah, so, I want to do that soon because I yeah. listened to a podcast episode about exactly this yeah. topic, writing to your past self and writing to your future self. Yeah, that could, that we can actually include this as well. I think that's also a very good way to connect with yeah. yourself. Recently, I had an issue and I wrote down a question and then I started writing, not the answer, just, just writing, you know, what came to my mind. And in the end of the day, it, it was the answer though. And I think sometimes we think that when we sit and we think and we think and we think that we would come to the same answer as if we would write it down. But there's something about writing it down that is a lot more powerful. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's because you're actually thinking these thoughts out in, in real sentences and you, you don't in your head you spin around a lot the same thoughts uh, reoccurring and on paper you wouldn't continuously write the same sentence so you you go deeper and deeper mm, yeah. and then as you've written a couple of pages you mm -hmm. you realize ah, okay these are the options that I have yeah that makes sense I mean yeah to be honest one of my points is, is similar actually um, one of my ways of connecting to my inner voice is is writing and journaling oh, but yeah. not specifically in that way but I mm -hmm. just like to um, I like to write and um, sometimes that's just writing whatever comes to my mind to like word vomit just anything that I think I just write it down and I feel like when I create that space um, that safe space to just to share with myself or to, to my book so to speak um, that inner dialogue just flows through and that develops and deepens the connection um, with myself because then I start to understand more about where my mind is I can take a step back and look at what's on the page what I've written and then also reflect on that as well yeah, so. say I was upset or something like I didn't really feel so good I would start writing it down I don't think I really knew what I was trying to gain from doing that mm -hmm. or maybe I just wanted to release something but I have realized that every time I came to the point of writing actually writing it helped me in one way or another mm -hmm. um, I either found the answers I was looking for if I was looking for anything mm -hmm. um, or like it gave me more clarity in the direction I was trying to move in if you want to make it a routine I find it easier to set my timer on 50 minutes or 20 minutes because very often when I want to implement something new into my life I feel like oh, I haven't got any time for this but then if you think about it you, could you spare 15 minutes somewhere and you really can usually and if you set mm -hmm. your time out then you know oh, okay and it's actually not that much time that's really amazing can I touch on that yeah you saying that has brought up a really big memory of mine actually a few years ago a couple of years ago even I got gifted um, a six minute a day diary uh. and that changed everything because now I don't need to use it but yeah. it's definitely implemented a structure into my brain where um, I take that time at some point even if I'm just thinking not yeah. actually writing 
to dedicate that time to be grateful or to think about, you know, what have I done that's good today? You know, what do I want to improve on? And just getting that inner dialogue with yourself, you yeah. know, happening more often. It's sitting in silence um, slash meditating oh, because yeah. I feel I was going to mention these two as two separate things but I feel like they kind of overlap each other mm -hmm. so sitting in silence and just sort of seeing what comes up seeing what thoughts come up and just welcoming welcoming them and mm -hmm. um, just being aware of them what if they're and awful <laughs> what if they're awful yeah. um, still just Welcome. being like oh okay cool <laughs> Right, like, yeah, still welcoming them, um, just, you know, becoming friends with the demons, not not trying to be scared of them and run away from them, so, mm. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, befriending I've, them. I've written down, I've also have got those two, and I have them as separate meditation. Oh, yeah. And going quiet. I mean, obviously, these are similar things, but you can use these techniques in different mm -hmm. ways, yeah. um, because I'm not doing that at the moment, um, but... I used to sometimes just take five minutes of um, quiet time, I mean completely quiet with no distraction where you really uh, do what you just said, you see what thoughts flow in, mm -hmm. also what ideas might flow in, because um, sometimes we don't notice these things that are coming to us because we are too distracted with other things. But what I'm doing at the moment actually is... Um, a meditation challenge with another friend of mine for well well for now we've um, committed to 20 days and we might extend to 30 days wow. but so we're doing 45 minute meditation every day that's amazing <laughs> wow that is <laughs> amazing <laughs> what okay and i find that i always feel like i get answers during not from but during this meditation not every time and I cannot control when I get answers, but uh, I feel that if a meditation is less than 45 minutes, I cannot connect deep enough to get answers. Like, um, when I wanted to, to have a meditation routine where I meditate at least five times a week or, or even every day of the week, mm -hmm. sometimes I... Um, did the 45 minute meditation and then on days where I felt like I, I didn't have the time or couldn't do it I reverted to a 20 minute meditation and there's nothing wrong with it, it's so good to meditate but I can just see that the benefit of a longer meditation is just much deeper mm. which yeah. makes sense, I feel like it does take time for your just for yourself to come to terms with yourself, you just need yeah, yeah yeah, mm. yeah totally so that's what I've written down, so I'm actually going to bring it back to you because I already yeah yeah I okay. well going back to or well, still on the same sort of the same point um, the sitting in silence slash meditating I've realised the more yeah I spend it's very similar to you as well the more I spend time um, consciously meditating and being mindful I tend to receive more just more understanding and um, of myself and my wants and my needs and how to manifest. Um, what I want in life, just it just comes, just it's more clearer. Um, but yeah, spending that time, and I think, how do I do that? I mean, to be honest, I do tend to when I sit in silence, I will literally just sit in silence. I'll just be sitting here like on my couch, and I'll just, mm -hmm. I'll just zone out. I'll just literally like look at the ceiling, or I'll close my eyes, mm -hmm. um, and just sit in a comfortable position, close my eyes and chill out and just completely just give myself peace of mind. And I feel in this respect though, it's more like the practice that's important. So the more you do that is when you will reap the benefits it's in, in the sitting in silence more than the meditation. I don't know if I'm making sense. It's sort of overlapping, but I feel like just sitting in silence, the idea of sitting in silence is just to sit in silence, but then eventually from practicing that um, more regularly, I tend to reap the benefits of that, which means I have that deeper um, relationship with my inner voice because I'm I'm using that time, I'm giving myself that time to just do nothing. Mm -hmm. And so whenever I need to, my mind is generally more clearer. 
I'm just curious um, about the retreat that we did together yeah. and for everyone who doesn't know about this retreat it's, yes. I don't want to go into too much details but it's a 10 day silent meditation retreat and I just want to know do you feel that you deepened your connection with yourself a lot more in that time? I think I definitely did because being there I tapped into a lot of things I wasn't already aware of, as mm -hmm. well as confirmation of things I already knew. Mm -hmm. So I am a believer that with every experience, you will inevitably deepen the the connection with yourself. Mm -hmm. So to answer that, yes, mm -hmm. it's it's not really something you can directly see in just one way. I think it's sort of has affected me across the board and then I realise in different scenarios or how I respond to things or just how I think before I do things. It's like little things that have changed slightly because mm -hmm. it's so deep that it's not something I'm going to see just like... It's really weird, it's, it's hard to explain. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely made an impact. Mm -hmm. It's definitely made an impact but I think they're because it's at a deeper scale, the impact on the outside looks very subtle. I mean, if I was watching this video and I hadn't been to a longer meditation retreat, yeah. I would probably ask myself, is that something that I should do? Um, yeah? Definitely. I think... I actually don't feel this way. No, I feel like <laughs> I feel that I get a lot of answers and insights yeah. through the retreat so I yeah. wouldn't say that it's um that it I mean it definitely helps you if if that's your journey but I wouldn't say that my connection with myself is different like from before mm -hmm. and after mm -hmm. I had a good connection to myself before yeah, and yeah. I still have now mm -hmm. I did get insights that I may not have gotten as quickly if I hadn't gone, but I wouldn't say that my connection is different. Mm. Hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> okay, let's see what else I have on here. I have um, doing something creative. I mean, basically, we're going into all the things that are more either more silent or situations where you kind of lose yourself, you let go, and if you are being creative, you have to be in the moment and you have to connect the, to the ideas that come to you. Mm. I guess I'm not talking to the right person because that's what you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny you say that because I feel like that also touches on something else. I want like one of my points as well. Yeah. It's really interesting. Wh which of your points? Well, so I was saying that um, just like doing things I love basically. Ah. Um, which, which ties into that creativity because just doing things I love brings more opportunities um, because I'm following like my heart and that yeah. I'm just exploring that creativity it's more like fun and enjoyment and then that just sort of like deepens that yeah and I believe that we're creators yes definitely like by nature so to yeah. be creative is something that we were born with and absolutely I mean if anybody's <laughs> watching and thinks oh I'm not creative like um should watch some of <laughs> Brene Brown's talks because she always says that everyone's creative and um, and that is actually something we really need. I can't actually remember how she described why, but um, yeah, that I think when you close yourself off from that and you say that you're not creative mm -hmm. and you want nothing to do with it, that you're probably not in flow. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's spot on. I, I agree. think this is actually another point in terms of the connection to yourself, being in flow mm -hmm. with life. And what does that mean? That, <laughs> first of all, not blocking life. And what I mean by that is, like, and I'm actually not excluding myself. I think we all um, have ways of how we want our life to look like. Mm -hmm. We want... X, Y, and Z to happen, or we want X, Y, and Z to be in our life, and there's nothing wrong with making these plans and actually setting up an action plan, but at the same time, staying 
connected and grateful to what you have and flow with life always and i mean this is Be actually <laughs> this grateful. is actually one of the things you said to me at the end of the retreat you said um that you learned to appreciate pain or, mm. or something along the lines mm. what did you say I don't the remember, beauty of pain there you is, said the beauty yeah, of there pain. is a lot of beauty within pain and when you when you open yourself up to see that it's yeah so that's what I mean with yeah. the flow, because a lot of people think, um, and I think it has to do with how we are brought up, um, this whole idea of we should always be happy, mm. we should always just, you know, if you have a bad day, just pretend that you don't. Mm -hmm. um, and I think being in flow means that sometimes you are angry, you are sad, you are upset, because it's part of the experience of oh, the experience yeah accepting yeah. just accept like the more acceptance you have yeah i believe it's just you know that's also a part of being in flow because you're accepting and the faster you accept something the quicker you let go of it and the quicker it that's moves true. on yeah. and it changes and then it's like a continuous flow so i wrote um yeah being in nature going for a run mm. walking in nature just to nice. connect with nature i didn't think about that that's a really good point i didn't think yeah. about that <laughs> maybe because we're in london <laughs> that's great yeah yeah um i have okay so reading for me mm, uh, i didn't think of that yeah as i enjoy reading and i love reading yeah as well okay. and especially like self-help books and like books that um are full of like knowledge and wisdom to elevate yourself and just better yourself um, in general and um, yeah I find that that is almost a representation of the inner dialogue I have because I tend to pick books that I meant to read or books that are communicating with me in some in some way so my last one um, is actually my oracle cards oh yeah that's okay. that's that's um one of my newly recent and favorite ways to yeah. connect with my with my inner voice because the oracle cards are actually used as a tool for that specific purpose yeah and um, the purpose is to help you develop that relationship with your inner voice and that's yeah. solely what it's used for uh -huh. it's not used for like um trying to gain something or yeah it's more just developing that relationship you have with your soul so you, you're able to hear that voice with clarity and sort of know know it when you need it or um, yeah. just in general yeah. and so yeah using using my oracle cards amazing i mean i found myself um in a place where i was called to use them on myself and yeah. with other people mm -hmm. and every single time it's been a beautiful experience uh, yeah and um is there like a specific set that someone can buy or? So the ones that I have, I they're actually just there. The ones at the top. I yeah. think I've seen them. Like yeah. on Amazon. Yeah, so <clears throat> this is them. Okay. My my baby. Um, okay. <laughs> I to be honest, when I went to buy this, I wasn't actually looking for this in particular. I just I just felt all of a sudden and I've worked with um people who do readings in different ways i've worked with different kinds of cards across the board over the over the last few years actually and then all of a sudden i was like i just feel like i need to have a deck uh -huh. and i went online to search for one yeah and i found one and i was i was like okay i'm gonna buy this but then i somehow came across this one uh -huh. I, I you can't really see much on the internet but as soon as i saw it i was like this is the one ah uh, that's and so interesting that's kind of like another calling from your yeah, inner voice yeah exactly amazing and this is why I, this this deck just ref, uh, it reflects who i am in all of its ways and it's just been so good to me okay. and everyone who's yeah. worked with me and the cards yeah um yeah amazing yeah. um to round this video up because we're coming to the end mm -hmm. i would say that out of all of the things that we said obviously it's not about doing all of them at once but kind of to shuffle around with them as you go along at least that's what i do like for example right now i do the everyday um meditation but then i have other times in my life where i do either a um 
well not 45 minute but like 20 minute or or the writing or just a five minute sitting down but to have uh, one or two things implemented that I do on a regular basis mm -hmm. and then I shuffle them around as I feel like oh I think I want to do something else now yeah no I totally agree whatever yeah. you feel because that is essentially also listening and connecting yeah but I feel uh, out or I start to feel out of balance if I don't do any of them mm -hmm. what about you yeah I would definitely agree definitely agree with everything you said if I have to be doing at least one even two of those things yeah consistently I would like to just round up what we said in this video so we touched on well i want to just round it up and say writing in general so whether you choose a, a 20 minute routine or um whether daily or every couple of days but i think you should think what do i want and then stick to it rather than oh maybe i'll do whatever because then you're not doing anything <laughs> just think what what's right for you but then do it and then if you come across an issue or a problem to write it down and then write to yourself about that issue and come to a solution that way. Um, meditation, whether that's 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes um, and, and whatever meditation technique you want to choose. Also, um, yeah, spending time in nature or spending time just being quiet and on your own and without any device or any distraction and uh, doing something creative. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. No. I think the last thing I would say is just make sure you do something. Yeah, that's right. Just to start is better than not to start. Absolutely. That's the most important thing. Yeah. yeah. Now is a new later. That's what Dr. Joe yeah. always says. Yeah, <laughs> well, thanks for joining us today and thank you for joining me today. Yes, thank um, you. And see you in my next video. Bye.